You gotta believe. Good day everybody out there in YouTube land. This Rough Rider guy. It's a beautiful day here in Saskatchewan. Yeah, I see some beauty few clouds. And we're midweek here and gonna be playing the BC Lions on Friday. Big controversy and I don't know if it's a big controversy of whether Cody should start it or not if he's feeling good. Well, my thoughts on whether Cody should play, let me see. If he's at least 80%, go for it. You know, you gotta be at least 80% minimum, if not a bit more. You know, I'd rather have a two-legged quarterback than a one-legged quarterback. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I'd rather have a two-legged quarterback than a one-legged quarterback. And with Cody, one of his biggest attributes and big check mark for him is he can run the ball. He's got good scrambling ability, and that's one of his assets. And if he doesn't have one of his prime assets, it uh, takes you down a long ways. I didn't really mind how Dola Gal Gala played. He really had some good poise in the pocket. He had a lot of overthrows though, just throwing them over his head. Uh, I don't know if that was excitement or what, but he, he sat in the pocket nice and he actually did run when he had to run. Made a couple first downs that way, but there was far too many two, or two and outs. A lot of injuries. Yeah, Bandy was out yesterday and Ferland had moved in and then they put St. John's in there. I don't know about that St. John's. Most iffy guy I've ever seen. I don't think he's made a whole training camp yet. He only made about day two and he was injured again. I don't even know if it was day two. It was early in the one day of practice anyway and he was already limping and off the field, knee gone. Like, I, I blame that on poor fitness, really. Like, our, you can't have that much bad luck. You know, it's just poor fitness coming in. You gotta be fit. You know, if you're getting injured in training camp, you're never gonna make it in the regular season. It's gonna take a lot more blows than that, I'll tell you. It's a beautiful day out here. But we missed a lot of guys on defense, you know. You're missing Leonard, I don't know how long he's gonna be out. It sounds like a shoulder. And then Robertson, he got hurt with that dirty hit. Now, no penalty on that one, no fine on that one even. Ridiculous. Yeah. Always seem to get the short end of the stick on that stuff. But Marshall was out, he's still out. I don't know if he's gonna be back, I hope so. But when you're missing Robertson and uh, Leonard, I thought they were the best two bloody defensive ends in the business you know by far I they're beat out Jeff Coat and Jefferson by a long way I thought but now they're both out and now we're missing Marino for a few more games that's a big hole to fill hi yeah those are big shoes to fill my favorite guy now on defense is that Milligan number zero and that guy covers a lot of ground and makes a lot of tackles. He's missing a few coverages, but I'll tell you, he's, he's a good player. You know, don't miss Ganey. He took over one of Ganey's spots. And don't miss him, I'll tell you, that guy is talented. When St. John's was in there, he actually, I, I tape every game and watch uh, it over and over to see who's making the good plays and who's making the stupid plays and uh, yeah he actually wasn't playing too bad that's the same as bandy for coming in at center i've been watching him he's not making too many stupid mistakes it's uh, 
I think the guy that makes the most mistakes on our offensive lines on my Ty Rogers. Sometimes you think you think his feet are stuck to the ground. You know, the guy goes right around him and boom, you're finished. You gotta at least stop him for thousand one, thousand two. You know, otherwise forget it, man. <laughs> Plays over. He did some really good blocks and running plays, I'll tell you though, and some games there. And that's what happened to our game last time, you know. And we just, we couldn't run the ball. You know, can't run the ball, you're in trouble. You know, especially if you got a rookie quarterback in there. got a rookie quarterback in there yeah. he needs all the help he can get but I hope Jardo can go I think we have a better chance if he's 85 90 yeah. you can't they're gonna be targeting him there's no doubt about it you know people say oh yeah well don't talk about injuries though well man he's wearing a brace you know, you gotta be blind if you're the opposition, you don't see he's wearing a brace. And don't tell me that they're not gonna go after him. They can hit him legally just above the knee on that side. And let me tell you, if they get a chance to shoot at it, they will. I know it's mean, but you know, you don't win any football games by being nice. It's a tough sport. And uh, you got a chance to make a guy have a bigger owie than he already has. Well, you got to take it. Uh, you want to put the V on the victory on the board, not the defeat. I know one of the reasons why Cody doesn't want to sit out. Well, you never want to sit out. You never know how good that guy's going to be that's replacing you. He'll end up sitting on the bench riding the pines if that guy ends up being your backup ends up lighting it up you know, Della Gettig didn't light it up but give him a couple chances at it he might I know why they want to play Cody they paid him the 400 K plus he's your guy they put the money on so he's got to perform Well, if he can get some help from the old line there and get a running game going, it's going to be a tough game to win. That Rorick, I like him, boy. He's sure got poise in the pocket and, and talk about run. He's not afraid just to take the snap and take off. <laughs> he's a killer on defenses, I'll tell you. Uh, he's got no fear. Uh, he's young, but he, he could end up getting hurt too. You don't want to run all the time, but he's not afraid to, that's for sure. And he's got a good arm, but they got a good running game. You know, they're a good team all around. Their defense are no slouch either. They're missing a couple old linemen now. They've got hurt. I don't know if they're going to get them back. That might help us. But we're missing them too. Vaughn's out. Lauderdale has not been playing too bad, actually, but... I don't know whatever happened to Brett Boyko. I know he got sick and uh, he was out, but they just don't show him the sh show him is still active, but there's n he's nowhere nowhere to be seen. Anybody know? Let me know. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. I need to get a more subscribers so YouTube pays me. So I got beer money for the game. This will be another game we'll be watching from the, the lake. Going up back up fishing. Fishing's been really good at Canada Lake. Get back up there and catch a few more pickerel. There's my favorite fish to eat. Yes, this will be a tough game to win, I'll tell you. You know, 
you go. BC is no slouch and that'll if we lose we'll be at four and four. And that's not a good position. We'll be fighting for a crossover spot at this point. I know it's early, but there's a lot of games by. That's eight games. Good portion of your season and seem to be going downhill and not improving. If you can improve each week, it makes a big difference, but I don't see major improvements happening. I haven't seen a team win a, get out of the East yet that I remember on the crossover. So. I know all about bum knees. I'm having a problem with mine. But mine isn't from injury, football injury, it's from being too damn old. Well, that's all I got for now. Finish up on Cody here. Like I posted one on Facebook there, I said, put Cody in some wind sprints against a couple other guys and see how he performs. If he performs in that, blam. Uh, he comes up and he can't get out of the pocket and have some zip with that knee I'd be playing Dola Gala one more game and then I got a bye week next week anyway so you got a good solid two weeks of uh, rest and that should do his knee wonders he's around 80 percent well anybody anyway like and subscribe and uh, go riders